Hi folks, I'm Sherry Martin. Welcome to Harris Acres and Heart of the Home. Guys, remember the commercials when they used to say, so this is the dining room? So this is the dining room. <laughs> My guests today are Melton Campbell and Matt Dibler the lead and baritone singers for the Inspirations, and two of my dearest, dearest friends. Y'all have been here almost since the beginning of Heart of the Home. Right. Right. We're starting our third year. You've eaten plenty. Mm -hmm. You've had to go to the gym and work out. Have we? You have. Oh, have. <laughs> you have. Y'all travel a lot. And you don't get home cooking a lot, do you? No. Yeah. Well, well, on occasion, some families a lot fix of, for That's us. what I started to say. A lot of the churches feed for Yeah, you. and then when we get there, they've done so much cooking and so much, we feel obligated. Mm -hmm. you, know, you gotta eat. No, we're sacrificing eat. our bodies for the ministry. That's right, that's, that's right. right, that's right. Experiment with food. Like that's right. Time. You know, speaking of a brave soul, one day you and I were on the phone talking, and you said, I'm going to preach in Pigeon Forge. No, I'm going to preach in Cherokee. And I said, <laughs> well, that's awesome. And, and that was, I think, on Sunday. And Monday you preached and I didn't go. And then Tuesday I called you and I said, how did it go? And you said it went really, really well. And so I called one of my friends and she couldn't go. And I called another friend and I said, June, I said, what do you think about driving up to Cherokee and let's hear Matt preach tonight? She said, okay. And she said, where are we going? I said, I don't know. I said, he said he'd meet us down by the campground. We had no idea. You took us into parts of Cherokee I would never have seen. The most beautiful scenery. Oh, yeah going up a little winding road. Is it on the side of the National Forest? It is. It's uh, 10 miles down um, Big Cove Road. I mean, all the way to the end of Big Cove Road. And it says watch for elk, and it means watch for elk. Sure it is. Yeah. Beautiful back there, of course. And then it's just uh, Charles Ray Ball is the pastor out there. Right. Wonderful, wonderful. You know what impressed there. me about that church? I looked on the little register and it had 49 members and that day 47 had attended. That's right. Is that not awesome? Like Is right. that not awesome? There was only two people that, two people that didn't like me. Right. <laughs> well, we got tickled because you know I know your life story and you know mine and, and a lot of history. And that night you preached about the fact that your mom didn't have a new pair of shoes for 15 years. That's right. That's because right. she chose to work several jobs and keep her children in Christian schools. And that night when I left there, I've always loved you, but I loved you more than ever that night. And I told Miss June, I said, oh my gosh. I said, everybody has a story. And everybody does have a story, oh, yeah. you know. And one of the things your mom and I were talking about earlier, you're a miracle because the doctor said she'd never have any more right. children. Right. And look at what, you got my green eyes, but your mama did all the work. <laughs> <laughs> I sure am glad. Oh, me too. <laughs> I sure am me glad. Too. But you know, everybody has a story. Right. Everybody has a story. That's right. And Heart of the Home began because I'm on the board of directors for Habitat for Humanity. And we produced a cookbook. And the cookbook was raising money to help build houses in Pickens County. Well, y'all know I'm a little bit pushy. And if I ask for something, I sort of expect to get it. <laughs> and I showed up at the meeting and I said, okay, everybody get me 10 recipes. Well, some of the people didn't come through. And I said, okay, the next meeting, I'd say, get me 10 recipes. We finally got enough recipes. We actually went over what we thought we would do. And this cookbook has been such a success. And one of the things we're going to talk about today are, my idea of cooking is simple. My friend Cecilia Mewburn, this is a fifth generation hard cake to delicious. make. But the recipe is in the Habitat cookbook. You boys are going to have to eat. I hate yeah. that. Now, Martin will work you to death on that gym. <laughs> <laughs> We're hoping he's not watching. Oh, no, well, he doesn't right. get Atlanta TV no, or LJ right. TV, right. so we won't worry about it. Now, guys, we're going to take a short break, then we're going to come back, and we're going to be joined by Tuesday Hammond Tree, who made one of our wonderful desserts, and we're going to see, on our anniversary, her first child was born. Oh, on cool. January the 19th, Sam Hammond Tree came into the world. He's a miracle, too, because the doctor said she couldn't have children. And he is a true, true blessing. So in just a minute, you're going to get to meet Sam. Hang around now. Hi, folks. We're back. If you hear something in the background, Tuesday's been in the kitchen with Miss Lucy, and they're actually frying up some Cornish hens that we're going to try mm -hmm. later. Mm -hmm. We have been joined by Tuesday Hammond Tree, who was one of my first guests almost three years ago. And at that time, you were told that baby Sam would never exist, weren't you? Yes. Well, I see he exists. He <laughs> and it's his birthday, January 19th. Mm -hmm. It's Sam's birthday. He'll be one year old. Now, what's his middle name? Craig. Because his, his daddy, daddy Craig that we love. <laughs> That's right. Look at that smile. <laughs> Sam, 
ma'am. Look around here at me. Now, are you going to grow up to be a cook? Because your mom's a great cook. Tasty, tell me about the recipe you made us today. It's very easy. You just take a um, box of yellow cake mix and um, mix one egg with it and a stick of butter. Mm -hmm. And then just mix it all together and pat it in a 9 by 13 pan. Put a little bit of that spray flour in there mm -hmm. so it's easy to get out. Mm -hmm. And put it in there, pat it down, and then take a one cream cheese, mm -hmm. two eggs, a whole box of powdered sugar sifted, mix all that together, get it good and mixed, mm -hmm. and then put one teaspoon of vanilla in it, and then break apart your pecans, as many as you want mm, or as right. little as pecans, you want. I love pecans, yeah. And pour that on top and bake it in a 350 degree oven until it gets brown. Looks great. And it will sink. Uh -huh, so when you uh -huh. take it out, it's more even, but then it'll sink, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sink down. So it's kind of what you call it, a pecan? Pecan pie cake. Okay. Kind of like it, a cream cheese square. Yeah, yeah. It mm -hmm. almost looks like a, a blondie or a, mm -hmm. a blonde brownie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks great. And I think these boys are going to enjoy eating that. Looks real good. <laughs> now, now, when you were growing up, we teased everybody. And we called her the miniature Martha Stewart because this girl, <laughs> no, oh my goodness, decorates her house, cooks all the time. <laughs> uh, you taught music and you majored in music dance, dance. didn't you? Mm -hmm. And, and really thought that's where your life would go. Yes. But I see where your life has gone. Yes, it's gone. I to see. Right here. That's right. That's right. And you left a career in Atlanta where you, mm -hmm. you literally have come home to yes. take care of Sam. And now you work at Jasper Drugstore. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Sam. Oh, Sam. Are we cutting teeth? Say yes. We've got we are. two. We are. And he but sees grandma. That's right. And, and, and talking about her grandma. I, I look so naturally gray because her mom's been my beautician for 35 years, hadn't Say she? Yes. That's right. I knew Nana a long time before you did. Uh, I did. Uh oh. Come here a minute. Come here. <laughs> Come here. Oh my goodness. Looky here. <gasps> Do you see the tree behind us? Do you know I don't take down my Christmas tree? I keep it up year round. See, we have I one do. That stays up here That's a good too. idea. Sam's been battling allergies, mm -hmm. and you know when y'all are out singing, I know. What do you use those Fishers? Fisherman's friend. Yeah. Right. You need to give Sam one. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know if he'd like, that. If he'd like it. Very Is much. it pretty sour? We yeah. actually buy them at Jasper Drugstore. I've gone up there and bought them for you several times. Right. That's right. Yeah, and bought all they had. So, yes. but now Sam, we're going to enjoy some of these desserts in just yeah. a minute. So you hang around, and we're going to cut the in, cut the desserts and enjoy some. Can he have sweets? He can try a little bit. Okay. Now this is the cake. It is in the Habitat Cookbook. And you've got one of these. Yes. It's a little time consuming, but man, it is worth it. All right. It's got dried apples and pecans mm -hmm. and uh, blackberry preserves. Mm -hmm. So it's it's really good. That'd be very it's, good. It's it's very good. Now hang around, guys, and when we come back, we're going to spend some more time with Matt and Melvin, and we're going to have some desserts. Hang around. We'll be right back. Hi, folks. We're back. Baby Sam's been rescued by <laughs> Nana Pam. So <laughs> Nana Pam's rocking actually in Melton or Matt's chair. I'm not sure whose chair really? it is. Yeah, one of y'all's rocking some chairs. Good mileage, <laughs> that's right. That's right. And y'all need to drive some the next time you come to take your chairs home. I, because I, I this time. did you good? Because I've got lots of miles on your chairs. You know, speaking of lots of miles, we've done a lot of miles together. Yep. You were here for one of my very first shows. The lighting was horrible. <laughs> the, the farm, we had no lighting, and it was like when we started shooting this, we didn't know you needed lights. We just kind of <laughs> did it. And it was funny because Tuesday and I both were like a little bit red. <laughs> and now Fred's much better with lighting. So, and you were here. Actually, we don't have many bloopers now. But we had a blooper <laughs> with you and Pigeon Forge. Did you lay in the floor and kick and scream? Uh, yeah. Yes, yes. I introduced him and I couldn't remember his no, name, could I? So you just went by his looks. <laughs> it was so bad. It was so bad. It was so bad. And I can remember looking over and Mark was laying in the floor. Yeah, was, my right. makeup was running down my face. It was pretty bad. It was pretty was bad. Funny. And I just it just I went blank and I just went right ahead and I thought, Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I was in trouble. But uh, I got out of it because I just, how did I get out of that? Oh, I know. It, it took was, me a while, didn't it? It took all of us a while to get out of that. I don't know that you're really over that. No. Do you remember the one program we did? I walked in there and they had the uh, light propped oh, up yes. with a broom. Oh, yes. Oh, I've yes. never seen anything yes. like that. Yes. We, we showed up in Pigeon Forge to shoot a show the third month we were shooting. <clears throat> we get there and the producer said, oh, no, we forgot the lighting. 
So we went all around the cabin and we got everything we could find and we tied the chandelier <laughs> at an angle with a broom. He had to get up there and, and hold it. Mm -hmm. We propped it with a stool sitting on top of the table and it stayed there for three days while we shot five shows. High tech, really. People oh, yeah. would walk in and they would go, what is that? We're like, that's our lighting crew. Mm -hmm. Well, we decided if a man had shown up without the lighting, y'all would have taken a Home Depot credit card. Mm -hmm. You would have gone and bought a light. <laughs> well, we had five ingenious women who just walked around the cabin, got all this stuff, tied it up together. Matt walked in and he went, what? And you know, we had invited him to dinner. Mm -hmm. And I know he thought we're eating the stool in the <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? I know what we was going to do. <laughs> what are we doing? So, but we made it work. Well, while we were sitting in the Walmart parking lot waiting to go see y'all that night, we had just gone to Walmart and this lady just starts backing into us. And I've got all the grannies in the widow wagon, seven old ladies and me, the youngest, driving. And some lady just rams our car. And I looked at the other girls and I said, she just hit us, didn't she? <laughs> so that weekend was, that was a little eventful. That was a little oh, yeah. eventful. Yeah. Now guys, we're gonna share the dessert. We're gonna have some other guests come in. We're gonna cut the desserts and serve them. So hang around, we'll be right back. Folks, I've got a happy crowd here. We are eating pie. This has been a great Heart of the Home anniversary. We're beginning our third year. Thank you so much for tuning in. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here. Mama Lucy couldn't do it without you, and you know that. Bless your heart. You know that. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming into my home. I love coming into yours. Now hang around, and we're going to share some of the old Heart of the Home excerpts. You'll love this. See you next week, guys. Bye-bye. Hi folks, we're back to Harris Farm and Miss Vicki has survived her first, first cooking lesson. She's on lesson number two. We're going to tone it down. I can't cook for two or three, but tonight I'm going to try to make my mother's sweet potato surprise for three people because you have a small family. We're going to try it for three people. So um, this is Mama's sweet potato surprise. It's in our Habitat cookbook, but I have toned it down and we're going to make about half the portion that's in the cookbook. Hi folks. Welcome back to Heart of the Home. Today I have two red-headed guests. They look a little <laughs> bit alike. I've got Miss Indigo Lawrence and Miss Vicki Shackelford with me. And Vicki and Indigo are going to be making a light fruit cup. We're doing a breakfast for mom for Mother's Day. We're going to have Monte Cristo sandwiches and a fruit cup. And then maybe you can get dad to help you make mom a cup of coffee to take upstairs. We're going to have breakfast in bed for mom. Does that sound good for Mother's Day? Yes. Okay. Hi folks, welcome to Heart of the Home, Away From Home. And we are really away from home today. We're in Bryson City, North Carolina, where we're gonna share our $4,365 recipe. Now that includes two tickets to Alaska, a charter fishing trip, and a great dinner at Land's End in Homer, Alaska. Or you could come to Bryson City and for $65, fill your tank with gas, Come up to Ela Campground and do like we're doing and spend the night, cook out on the river, the, the sound of the music, the uh, sound of the music in the background from Inspiration Park, the sound of the rushing water, you cannot beat it. Wow, the first sign of spring. Leave work a little bit early. Run by the Blue Star, pick up some T-bones on sale. Come to the motor home, chill a little bit, and let's cook some steaks. The charcoal's ready, and here we go. Hi, I'm Sherry Martin, and tonight on Heart of the Home, my buddy Johnson Collins, one of my favorite guests, is here to help me celebrate. What are we celebrating? The one-year anniversary. The one-year anniversary of Heart of the Home. We've been on the air a year. We've had a lot of fun. We've done some simple recipes. We've done some good recipes. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. From now on, our troubles will be out of sight. Tonight on Heart of the Home, I'm so honored. I want my guest to introduce himself to you. Hello, I'm uh, Sergeant Major Tony Gate in the United States Army. Tony lives in Tate, Georgia, and Tony and I spent last Easter together, but it was an email, wasn't it? Yeah. Email, yeah. you were in Baghdad, That's you right. attended a sunrise service in Baghdad while we were here attending church. Um, you're home, you're safe, I'm so grateful. Communicating with you was wonderful because I knew when the guys were coming home, we were placing yellow ribbons for your um, group of fellows that came home. When did 48th Brigade? 48th Brigade, yes. 48th Brigade. 
um, safely came home. I was so pleased. I was so pleased with the neighborhood. Everybody turned out and everybody supported you. And it was such a pleasure to know that we knew, you know, when you were coming, when the guys were going to be there. It was easy to coordinate because we could email across the world. We could email. So it was wonderful. It was one of the most special days of my life. I uh, and and it was for Jasper. It was for Jasper. Thank you.